You've got questions, I've got answers. Welcome to Getting Understanding with Dr. Darrell Ellis. As usual, I'm your host, Dr. Darrell Ellis, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about what's going on in the world of COVID here in the United States. At our last video, we talked a little bit about the Delta variant. We talked about what makes it a little bit different than the prior strains of COVID-19, how much more infectious it is, how much more deadly it is, and we want to just kind of invite additional questions. We put that out there at our last video, and I've gotten some questions that I'd like to address. Hopefully, some of these answers will resonate beyond just the person who asked the question and be able to get some more people who are a little bit more at ease with getting vaccinated so that we can start increasing those numbers, increasing that percentage of our population that is in the vaccinated group so that we can decrease the risk of spread of this very virulent and very dangerous viral infection. Number one, I had a question from a person online who asked, because I have a history of allergies, allergies to certain medications, allergies to certain foods, should I not get the vaccine? Well, the answer is no. The reason why the answer is no is that the recommendations are, if you have severe allergies, severe allergies to the point where you have to carry an EpiPen with you because of a prior history of anaphylaxis, anaphylaxis being a very severe allergic reaction that can result in loss of life, where you develop significant inflammation of the airway, you're unable to breathe on your own, your blood pressure drops out, and you require resuscitation, now, that's the type of allergy that we warn against you getting vaccinated, not just against COVID-19, but against virtually all vaccines. The advantage that you have with the COVID-19 vaccine, however, is that every single vaccination center, whether it's in a physician's office or whether it's in a local pharmacy, has to and is required to have what they call an anaphylaxis team on board, meaning that after you receive that vaccination, you're going to be required to sit and wait for a period of 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that you don't have any kind of an anaphylactic reaction. If you do, if you start developing difficulty with breathing, if you start becoming severely lightheaded or dizzy, they have people in place to come and attend to you and all of the materials, including epinephrine, to be able to resuscitate you right there and right then. If it doesn't happen in the first 15 minutes of vaccination, it's not going to happen. So if you do have allergies, if you're allergic to penicillin, if you're allergic to certain antibiotics, if you're allergic to certain blood pressure medications, food products, bee stings, peanuts, if you're not required to carry an EpiPen by your primary care provider, if you've never had a type of allergic reaction that's landed you in the hospital, then it's safe for you to go ahead and get vaccinated, knowing that there's a backup plan there in case you get into trouble. Along those same lines, I introduced my nurse practitioner, Jamie, in an earlier video. Next video, which will be in a couple of weeks, she's going to have the opportunity to sit in front of the camera and start talking to you about some preventative measures, diet, exercise, certain supplements that you can use. She's even going to talk a little bit about things that you can do in terms of personal hygiene to try and keep yourself from becoming infected. And for those of you who have not been vaccinated, this is going to be a very, very important topic for you. I always will encourage you to become vaccinated, but if you, for whatever reason, can't be vaccinated or just refuse to be vaccinated for your own personal reasons, I want to be able to help equip you to be able to be the best you that you can be so that you don't end up falling ill to a point where you have to come see me in the hospital. So in two weeks, you're going to see Jamie, and Jamie's going to have some great tips. Moving forward, I'm also going to have some other guests on people who have demonstrated to me by their own practice and the way they conduct themselves that they know how to stay clean, if you will, or stay sanitized, how to properly sanitize your home, how to properly sanitize the things that you utilize on a day-to-day -day basis, proper mask wearing, proper use of gloves, when to use them, when not to use them, and uh, so that they can also give you some tips how to best prevent, protect yourself if you are not vaccinated. God bless you. I look forward to continuing to hear from you. Keep posting those questions for me, okay? The more questions you give, the more content I have to discuss in future videos. 
Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button below and hit that bell down there so that you can get notifications as we post new videos. God bless you and have a great day.